So today I'm recreating my look on Priyanka Chopra's look which she wore on the Amy's 2017 awards red carpet so I'm really excited for that and um, this is the picture this is the look she wore on that award and as soon as I saw uh, this picture on Instagram I fell in love immediately and I thought why not I recreate a look with this this look is very feminine very edgy and I really like how it turned out on her her makeup artist told that uh, this makeup look was inspired by her Burman gown which she wore on that award show this look reminded him of a very 20s and 30s vibe. This mirrored a uh, beautiful gown uh, look really fabulous on her and she really pulled it off. For the, for the red plummy shade, he used Laura Mercier's caviar sticks in the shade plum and also burnished bronze. So that's the main part of um, her base for the eyes and um, then uh, for the extra redness on the eyelids um, he used a brand name ritual de fillet eye suit in versera uh, versera i think that's how you pronounce it um, and then uh, he topped it off with a glossy halo scope in moonstone which gave her a more of a glossy finish to the lids so uh, i have done my base already which is like i have primed moisturized and applied my foundation so for the main eyeshadow base i'm using this essence uh, lip liner in the shade be a game changer You can see how it blends very fast and very smoothly. I'm not having any struggle or whatsoever in blending. I'm just going in again with this to intensify the look. As you can see, I haven't applied any scotch tape because the look itself is very smudgy and smoky looking i'm smoking it out really high above my crease to give this a very smoked out diffused crease for the actual crease today i'm going to be using this single eyeshadow by mac this is in the shade star violet this is how it actually looks it's a very metallic cranberry shade so i thought this would be great on all over the lid i'm going in with the same brush and applying this on my lid this flat shader brush works really well on applying eyeshadows on the crease With a tapered blending brush, I'm, not, I'm going in with the same eyeshadow and diffusing my crease. Now with a clean blending brush, uh, I'm just diffusing the edges. It's a must to go in with a clean blending brush after applying each eyeshadow so it, it looks very diffused and nicely blended. In addition, I'm going in with this cranberry shade right here from the Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyeshadow Palette. really 
packing this on the outer edges of the eyes because her outer uh, corners of the eyes were really smoked out. For the lower lash line, I'm going in again with that Essence lip liner. Her lower lash line was really nicely smoked out and um, it was not precise at all. Now with a more defined flat shader brush, I'm going in with Makeup Revolution eyeshadow. For the waterline, I'm going in with this Essence lip liner. brow bone and inner corner I'm going in with this shade she doesn't have any uh, eyeliner or smoked eyeliner even so I'm skipping the eyeliner and I think she has individual lashes I will go in with this lash this is the lady luxury lash it's more of a natural looking lashes so i'll be giving this a shot i'll apply the lashes and do my brows off camera and then i'll be back i have applied my lashes and done my brows off camera i used this lashes because her lashes was really natural looking but uh, fluttery at the same time uh, on the outer corners so these lashes are a perfect match that's why i've used this lashes and Using a concealer after a very smoky uh, eye look helps to clean the edges of the lower lash line and blend it. I don't think so she went for a very contoured chiseled out look. So I'm just gonna contour a little bit and bronze up myself a little bit, not that much and for that you can use any contour and bronzer or whatever you have she has a really monochromatic look going on her blush her lipstick her eyeshadows were on the same panel so for the blush part i'm using this Fit Me Blush by Maybelline and this is in the shade 204 Medium Pink. Now as for the highlight, I don't think so she has any highlighter on her face because I think uh, she went in for a very matte all over look so I am skipping my um, highlighter for this look and this is what not I usually go for now I don't know if you can see but she has a glossy te texture on her brow bone and eyelids as well so for that glossy te texture you, you can go in with clear gloss or even a lip balm if you have I don't usually apply glosses that much or um, I don't have a clear lip balm so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, apply a sheer lipstick on my lids for that extra gloss so I am going in with this L'Oreal lipstick in the shade pink lemonade as you can see it has a really sheer glossy texture to it so I'll just dab this on my finger and then apply it on my eyelids so this added a really nice texture of a glossy wet looking eyes now i'm going to apply this 
a little bit on the brow bone. Because she has a glossy, glossy brow bone as well. So just a little bit, not too much. So I have this three liquid lipsticks in my mind, which I'll show you the swatches. This is the Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Mina. This is Milani in the shade Pretty Problematic. And this is uh, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen. So these are the swatches. This is the Ofra one and this is the Milani one and this is the NYX one. I think I'll go in with the Milani one because this is the uh, metallic liquid lipstick and I guess that will match the most uh, so before that I'm just going in with the sense lip liner So I really hope that you enjoyed this celebrity inspired makeup look. I really loved creating this look and I really like how this turned out. So that's it for today guys. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for further videos.